Hello, everyone. My name is Juliana Elsted. I'm CEO of Vibrato Medical, a company where we use ultrasound as a therapy to treat peripheral arterial disease and its more advanced form, chronic limb-threatening ischemia, or CLTI. CLTI is a major vascular disease. These patients have chronic pain in their legs. They also have non-healing wounds leading to gangrene. One-fifth of these patients gets amputation within a year of diagnosis, and half within five years. There are over 200 million patients with peripheral arterial disease worldwide, and 18 million in the US, of which 2 million have chronic limb-threatening ischemia, or CLTI. There is a strong clinical need in the peripheral arterial disease. Current therapies, surgical or in the vascular, have substantial rate of repeated procedures and complications. Moreover, 20% of patients don't have even these options. They're literally called no option patients. This is costly disease. These interventions cost about 50,000 per patient. In fact, there are so many patients looking for better solutions and U.S. healthcare system spends so much money on these patients that this disease gets attention of high-profile media. There is a strong need for a better therapy, a therapy that could produce better clinical outcomes, a therapy that doesn't have complications, that is preferably non-invasive, the therapy that is cost-effective. So let me introduce LimSonic, a device that uses ultrasound at the levels above those of diagnostic imaging, but below those of thermal ablation. LimSonic provides this therapeutic ultrasound that promotes vasodilation and vessel growth. It is a ray of ultrasound um, transducers wrapped around patient's calf, creating acoustic field and treating tibial arteries, the collateral vessels, and microvessels in the muscle, leading to better perfusion, oxygenation, and ultimately better clinical outcomes. The device is powered by integrated user interface and power generator, which monitors coupling of transducers and patient compliance. Our feasibility study produced outstanding and statistically significant results. It was a 12-patient study. Each patient received 90 minutes of therapy five days a week for a total of 30 to 40 treatments over approximately six weeks. In this clinical study, Toe perfusion increased by mean 180%. And this increased perfusion was maintained even when ultrasound was turned off. Each patient improved. We also measured oxygenation. Over the period of six weeks of therapy, the oxygenation, total foot oxygenation, improved by 17%, which was statistically significant. We also improved patients' quality of life and received excellent feedback from the patients about the therapy. We didn't have any complications or serious adverse events. Moreover, behind these statistics, there are real patients. Patients whose pain went away, patients whose wounds healed. Some of the patients in the study were no option patients. Some other patients had lost their leg before the study, and we were saving the other leg. The results of this study were presented at the major vascular conference, VIVA. In fact, 
we are the only company, not only last year, but in the history of Viva Conference, that was selected for the late-breaking clinical trials with its first feasibility study. We also presented at American Heart Association Conference that year. Moreover, we are very fortunate and grateful to have multiple awards from three different NIH institutes. All of this testified to the solid science and established mechanism of action behind our therapeutic approach. Today, Medicare spends $12 billion annually on CLTI patients. Current intervention costs on average $50,000 per patient. With Vibrato's approach, we do not need operating room. The therapy can be delivered at patients' homes or in office, substantially saving money to the healthcare system and providing favorable economics. Looking forward, we are currently finishing an enrollment in our second randomized multi-center clinical trial called Concerto, after which we will do the pivotal study called Symphony, leading to the de novo 510K submission. In parallel, we also improve our device, adding additional features, making it smaller and even more user-friendly. To date, we have raised 9 million in Series A and non-dilutive funding. We anticipate our Series B to be 20 to 25 million. We have a very skilled management team. Each member of the management team has decades of medtech experience, working at the large as well as startup medical device companies. Our stellar board of directors is chaired by Paul Levelet, managing partner and CEO of SV Health. Cumulatively, over the course of our careers, we have raised over a billion dollars had multiple successful exits, and took therapies from early stage all the way to commercialization. So in summary, we are targeting large market with strong clinical need. Our solution is based on established mechanism of action, and we demonstrated statistical significance in early feasibility studies. We have a robust IP portfolio with issued patents and more in process. We are VC-backed, and our management team have strong track record of execution. We offer an opportunity to get to a large clinical market in a relatively fast and efficient way. So if you're an investor interested in producing high returns while helping patients, please contact us. Thank you for your time and attention.